Are you currently licensed to practice medicine in the state of New York? Yes, I am. Are you licensed to practice medicine in any other states, doctor? Yes, I am. Have you taken any medical specialty boards? No. Do you currently have an area of medicine that you specialize in, by the way? No. General surgery. Just general surgery? Yes. Can you explain what the area of general surgery consists of? It includes the treatment of diseases of the soft tissues. Do you currently have privileges at any hospital? Yes, I do. And what are the hospital privileges, doctor? The right to hospitalize patients, take care of them within the confines of the hospital. At what hospitals do you currently have privileges in? At St. Catherine's Hospital in Smithtown. Defendant's counsel, I am willing to concede his uh, expertise, Your Honor. Plaintiff's counsel, I decline the concession. The court, proceed. The concession is declined. Have you had privileges to work at any hospital ever? Uh, yeah, see, yes. Have they ever been suspended or revoked? No. Are you currently a member of any medical societies? I'm a member of the American Board of Surgery, as well as a member of the New York Medical Society. Are you affiliated with any medical schools? No, I'm not. Do you currently maintain a private office for the practice of medicine? Yes, I do. And your office address is what, please? 222 East Main Street, Smithtown. Approximately how many patients do you treat in an average week currently? This is inpatient and outpatient or what? Yes. Well, I don't know. I would guess 50. Okay. And how many times on average do you perform surgery during a typical week? In the op operating room at the hospital, oh, I guess on average 10 to 12. Defendant's counsel, Your Honor, I move to have Dr. Robinson qualified as an expert in the field of general surgery. The court, it's not necessary in the second department to do that, counsel. Plaintiff's counsel, okay, Your Honor. The court, what is it, counselor? Defendant's counsel, the doctor speaks low and there are people outside. I don't know how to correct it. The court will correct it. Plaintiff's counsel, shall I withdraw and start that question over again, Your Honor? The court, go ahead. Plaintiff's counsel, thank you. Doctor, have you ever testified as a witness before in a medical malpractice case? As a witness? As a witness, no. Doctor, are you being compensated by my office today for the time you're spending in court? Yes, I am. Have your, does your compensation depend in any way upon the outcome of this case? No. Doctor, do you recall when you first met Thomas Pepper? I have a recollection. Okay, and approximately when was that? Well, it was in the year of 2000. Doctor, if I were to show you, I don't recall exactly when, actually. What's been marked into evidence as Plaintiff's Exhibit 3, would you be able to tell from looking at the chart? Yes, I could. Plaintiff's counsel, Your Honor, may I give the witness this paper? The court, certainly, counsel. This is not a direct recollection, but going by the court. No, no, that is not a direct recollection. Remove that from the record, please. If you have no recollection, you have no recollection. If that doesn't refresh your recollection, we'll move on to the next question. Plaintiff's counsel, thank you, Your Honor. Doctor, do you have a general recollection of Tom Pepper's general physical condition when you first saw him? Yes, I do. Can you describe for the ladies and gentlemen of the jury your general recollection of Tom Pepper's physical appearance when you first saw him? Well, he was quite ill. He was clearly weak. Did he have a distended abdomen? Yes. Doctor, what is a distended abdomen? An abdomen that is protuberant larger than it normally is, blown up. Okay, and when you say he was quite ill, what does that mean? Well, he had the appearance of somebody chronically ill by virtue of his malnourished condition. Would you say he was more acutely ill in that he was septic? Yes, he had a temperature and he looked like somebody who was more than just chronically ill. There was clearly something going on that was making him very sick at that time. Defendant's counsel, objection speculative, Your Honor, the court sustained. Do you recall if any members of Tom Pepper's family were present when you first saw him? No. 
Did you obtain a medical history from Tom or any member of his family before you rendered any treatment to him? Defense counsel, irrelevant. The court overruled. Yes, I did. Who did you get that history from? I believe both from the patient and his wife. Okay, and do you recall what that uh, history consisted of? The details I don't recall. I know that he had a what's called a low anterior resection for a cancer of the rectum. There had been some post-operative problems. He had been discharged and shortly thereafter re-hospitalized now at St. Catherine's and he had been in the hospital for, I don't know, maybe two or three days, I don't recall exactly, but he had been in the hospital, admitted by his primary care physician, and then I was asked to see him. Doctor, why, as a physician, do you take a medical history from a patient? Defendant's counsel, objection, Your Honor. Operation of the mind, the court overruled. Well, it's really the most important aspect of the examination.